today we're gonna go thrifting and I'm gonna try on and style everything that I get for you guys too. As you may know, I have new hair or if you didn't know, go watch my latest glow up to see. Because I have new hair, I wanted to do a big thrift haul. I feel like a lot of things in my closet look funky with my new hair and I've already worn basically everything that I have so I'm kind of in desperate need for new clothing. For this thrifting trip, I'm gonna go all out and not focus on any specific colors or styles. I'm gonna buy whatever I think will look cute with my new hair. I'm gonna go crazy. Sadly, the fitting rooms are gonna be closed. I'm not gonna be able to try on any of the cute clothing that I find and I will have no idea if they are going to fit me or even look good on me. This might end up looking like trash and being a huge waste of time and money. But hopefully, <coughs> but hopefully everything goes well and when I try on everything at the end of the video everything turns out the way that I want. I usually spend like $50 whenever I thrift and that gets me a pretty good amount of clothing. But today I want to spend around $100 to $200 which I think will get me a shit ton of clothing like around 20 pieces. Without further ado, let's go thrifting. Wait, before I go, let's do a little fit check. I have this cute oversized sweater. It says New York. I'm not from New York. Then I have this bralette that's really cute. Then I have some sweatpants. I chose to wear them because they match with my stone necklace. You know, gotta be matching in some way here. I also have my bag that I'm gonna be carrying when we're thrifting. And lastly, I have these really cute earbuds on. These cute earbuds are from today's sponsor, Raycon. Raycons are literally my new go-to earbuds. I use them when working out and when editing. And even Snoop Dogg is obsessed with these. Blood Raycon has a bunch of different colors and patterns. They're super comfortable too, and they come with a variety of options. Also, the earbuds have no stems or wires, so they're great for video chatting too. Everything is really stylish, and the carrying case is compact and can charge the earbuds up to four times. These start about half the price of other premium earbuds, and they're just as good, if not, even better. They're great for working from home, listening to music, and watching my YouTube videos. Their everyday E25 earbuds are literally their best model yet. It has six hours of playtime, it pairs via Bluetooth seamlessly, it has more bass, and the compact design gives you a nice noise isolating fit. And they have fun new colors. Mine are in rose gold. Click the link in the description for 15% off your order. Now back to the video. Hi, so I'm on my way to the thrift store right now, and my only real goal for this trip is just to find a bunch of cute things. Also, I'm gonna be looking for literally anything. I'm gonna try to look for tops, skirts, literally anything. Anything that I see at the thrift store that I like, I will get, most likely. I don't wanna get too many sweaters or long sleeves either because it's um, literally like 90 to 100 degrees where I live. Now, let's head over to Goodwill. We just arrived. It is very hot. I am dying in the sweater. I don't know why I chose to wear the sweater. I'm gonna try the thrift really quickly and also because I can't try on things. I feel like this should go by quicker, but I do have to measure the clothing because I don't want to waste all my money on things that don't fit me at all. We're gonna start thrifting right now and the first thing I'm going to look for is probably tops. <laughs> I found right away is this sweater. I've actually been in need of some sweaters because all the ones that I have are tight and I've kind of been into the oversized sweaters lately. This doesn't really look too oversized though. Maybe I'll put it back but then also like imagine it cropped. I'll put it in my cart for now. I'll decide later. This is so funny. Oh my god look at this. It says all I want for Xmas is dogs. Relatable but for me this should be changed to cats. Okay, but look at this. So freaking cute. Gives me total like witchy vibes. It's supposed to be a shirt, but looking how long it is, I feel like it could be like a mini dress. I just remembered something. When I came in the thrift store, there was a really cute top that I saw. So uh, I'm gonna go see if they still have it. Hopefully somebody didn't take it and it is still there. And it's from Hollister too. I love it. I don't know what size it is either. It's not saying. Let's keep on looking. This is really cute, but too loose. I feel like it's gonna show my belly. I'm in the kids section now. And last time I found a really cute top here, so maybe I'll find something again. Look, 
what I found. This is so freaking cute. And I think it'll fit me. But we'll add that. Right now, I honestly prefer men jeans over women jeans because it just flattered my body type. Heading out to check out. A little sneak peek of what I got. This is a subtotal of 53 for eight things. That's what I usually pay. I still have to spend a lot more to do a try on. We're done with the first trip. I got, I think like around eight things. And like I said, the total was $53. It's so Sony, I'm sorry guys. Which is a pretty good deal because I got a good amount of things. I'm gonna go to another thrift store and yeah. Tomorrow. Hi everyone, it is now the next day. I had said yesterday that I was gonna go to some more thrift stores, but it had ended up being too late because every thrift store had closed already by 6 p.m. Because that happened, I have to finish my thrifting today and I decided that I wanna thrift in a different city. Hopefully that means I have a higher chance of finding cute clothes. Honestly, I was kind of disappointed yesterday because I didn't find too many things. I think this is gonna be exciting. Also, I made this choker myself. Let's go. Alright guys, so I just arrived. I'm in Santa Monica, California, which is like an hour away from me, so not too bad. I wanted to come over here because Santa Monica is like a beachy city, so I thought they might have some beachy clothing, which is really cute of me. I'm gonna go to Goodwill. It's right down the street. Really excited. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of cute things, probably cuter things than what my city has. Let's hope that I have some good luck. Was actually a lot cuter than the one in my town. I'm really glad I made the choice to drive an hour away because they had so many trendy looking jeans and surprisingly they weren't overpriced either. I'd also found plenty of tops too that when it was time to check out I had to put some back because I got way too many. After that me and my boyfriend decided to explore Santa Monica a little bit so we went out to go eat and then after that we went to the mall and I ended up buying these two really cute shoes. Absolutely love them. And then uh, when it was time to go, I came across this beautiful Jeep. It just reminded me how badly I want one. But yeah, that was my day. Day three. So it is now try on time. Finally, I am very excited for this. Also, if you didn't know, I have new wall decor. Here's a better view of my wall. I love it so much. I did this all yesterday. It took me a while, but it's totally worth it because look how cute this is. Before this wall was like basically empty and now we have a lot going on. I'm so in love with it. We have some colorful vinyls, some cute angelic stickers, these little star things. Anyways, I just wanted to show you my wall real quick because it's really cute and I'm proud of it. So let's go back to the try on. As I was saying, I'm gonna finally try on all of the clothing for you guys. And to spice it up a bit, when I try on the clothing, I'm gonna be styling it too so it's not too boring. And then I'm also gonna be rating each outfit as I go. Then at the very end, I'm gonna choose my favorite outfit and you guys will too. So make sure to watch all of this so you can follow along especially if you want a really cute outfit and spell please watch it one more thing that i would like to say i have developed quarantine chub be nice to me in the comments please that's all i had to say first item i bought this cute little white blouse kind of reminds me of pirates in the caribbean but still really cute at the same time i get like cottage core vibes from it too you know let's go try this on Honestly, I like it. It's really cute. There are a few issues that I have with it. It's too wide in this area. Like, I would want it to be more closed in. I just feel like that would look more dainty. To make this top more interesting, because I felt like it's very simple and kind of plain, I paired it with this moon pearl necklace, then this little clear see-through bag. And then for the bottoms, I chose these denim shorts that have little flowers on it that I embroidered myself. That really tied the whole look together, in my opinion. We're to restart. I got this khaki skirt and I'm 100% sure it belongs to a middle schooler. It literally says size 12. There is one issue with this skirt. There is a few little stains. It looks like it's green paint. Besides that, everything is pretty good. Okay, so for the khaki skirt, I decided to go for the mean girl at your private school type of look, you know, like from the teen movies. I just felt like it fit since, you know, the skirt is a school uniform. It was very complicated to put on though because um, as 
as I suspected, the thigh area did not fit. So instead of unzipping it and putting it up this way, I had to do it this way. It was worth it because this outfit is really cute. To add some more flavor, I put on this little beaded necklace along with these pearl earrings and this headband along with my high top platform converse. They remind me of school. A schoolgirl outfit but make it cuter and not so uniformy. I think I like this look better than the first one. I'm gonna go with a nine because I really like everything about it and really no issues to switch it up a bit. Here are some jeans that I got. Got these from the men's section, so they might be too big on me, but I did want the baggy look because a lot of women jeans don't really have that baggy look. I don't know if you guys seen that. It's kind of like a trend going on right now with the big pants with the tiny tops. I got these in a light blue because I don't have any light blue baggy jeans. Let's pray that this looks good on me. Honestly, I don't really like these jeans. I really tried to make it work. I put a belt around the waist because it was too big. It just made it look weird. Like, do you see this part right here? I give this outfit a five, honestly. It doesn't look good on me. But you know what could solve this issue I have going on right here? My merch. I was right, it hid all of the ugly parts of the jeans. With this outfit on, I would give the jeans a seven, and the length of it is pretty cool too. I don't know if you guys can see that. If you want a cute fairy hoodie like mine, it has little fairy wings on it, it says fairy. I'm gonna leave the link to my merch in the description if you wanna match with me. When I first saw this, I fell in love immediately because I don't have anything like this in my closet. I just thought it would look really cute on me, at least I think. It's kinda stretchy too, so if it's tight, I think it should look good because, you know, it stretches. Kind of gives me, like, soccer, soccer vibes. That's all I have to say about this shirt, so let's go try it on. Okay, so here is the black top on me. Originally, I was gonna do something a little bit more extra, but then I decided why not just do it kind of casual for the bag. We've got this cute tote bag that is the same color as my shirt. So what would I rate this outfit? Um, I'm gonna go with a eight or nine. Next thing, this dress. This is so freaking cute. Total beachy vibes it is also floral and then it also has like little details right here i don't know if you guys see that but kind of like lace i think it has potential but we'll see here's the dress on me i love it i love it so freaking much it is the cutest dress ever perfect for the beach as you can see that's the kind of vibe i was going for here i got this really cute skirt kind of looks like a grandma skirt but when i saw it i thought lizzie mcguire i've been wanting a floral long skirt for the longest time and and I finally came across one that looked like it would fit me and it's really cute like it gives me like total vintage dreamy colorful vibes kind of like an album cover that you would see I don't know I feel like a grandma I mean I feel like this is totally a grandma outfit but at the same time it's like kind of cute and stylish I'm very on the fence about this look overall rating of this look I'm gonna say a six because I'm still on the fence about it you guys are gonna have to let me know that is finally all of my outfits honestly this try on went way better than I had expected now for the favorite outfit award the schoolgirl outfit yay I'm gonna go take some pictures tomorrow in that outfit and I'm gonna show you guys how they came out Okay, fairies, that's the end of this video. Make sure to comment down below which outfits were your favorites. I would love to know, and I'll be reading all of the comments. Also, before you go, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you aren't already. Bye! If you didn't like my video, I'm so sorry. Hit subscribe. Join Fairy Army. If you didn't like my video, why don't you like it? I'm so sorry. Join the bitch.